This is a section of the vermiform appendix and this is obviously a transverse section so you can see the luminal profile here where you would find the mucosa would actually originally have been here. Unfortunately all this mucosa has been destroyed by acute inflammation and it is very extensively necrotic. So this would be the mucosa. This little bluish cuff uh, would be the deeper aspect of the mucosa because we often get a lot of heavy reactive lymphoid hyperplasia here. This little paler area here, this layer would be the submucosa and then followed by the muscularis propria, the subserosal tissue and then the serosa. So let's have a look at what's happening first in the mucosa. You can see that there are actually hardly any viable glands left. Uh, if we look very carefully, there are some very very focal uh, crypts that are still residual, which can still be made out, but a lot of them are actually dying. Instead, it's been replaced by loads and loads of neutrophils. These are acute inflammatory cells. Often the nuclei have multiple lobes. These are of course leukocytes or white blood cells. And all these uh, squiggly nuclei here are all neutrophils. Going deeper into the wall, uh, we here we can see some residual lymphocytes which have round, more rounded nuclei as compared to the multi-lobed nuclei of neutrophils. Moving deeper, as you can, you can use this uh, picture here to orientate and see where we are. Moving deeper downwards into the muscle wall, here we can see some residual viable smooth muscle from the muscularis propria, but lots and lots of neutrophils, as you can see, a very nice uh, neutrophilic nucleus here, another one here. They are just infiltrating, percolating all the way down through the muscle layer. These are some of the large subserosal vessels and this would be the subserosal tissue. So neutrophils all the way through and we call this transmural because it's full thickness of the wall. And on the serosal surface, this pink strandy material is actually fibrin or fibrin and this is associated again with neutrophils. So this is a acute fibrinopyrulent exudate. You can see fibrin here and associated neutrophils or this would also be known as a serocytis, acute serocytis. This explains why when you open, when you look at the appendix grossly, you can see this layer of uh, purulent materials, opaque yellowish material, just uh, at, at the serosal surface. So what we have, just to recap, we have extensive mucosal ulceration and necrosis. We have a severe transmural acute inflammatory infiltrate and we also have an accompanying acute serocytis. All these are features compatible with acute appendicitis.